So here is another question on pie chart. The pie chart below shows the age distribution of population in thousands. In thousands. It shows the, what, the age distribution in what? In thousands of an island wide for the year 2000. The pop total population of the island is 240 what? 5000. Use this information supply to answer the question that follows. Show all workings clearly. Now, calculate the number of persons in different age groups. We have to calculate what? The number of persons in different age groups. You can see this is what? Age 61 plus and above. This is the, what? the group of people with 61 years plus. This are the age of people between 70 to 45. This is the 43 what? 43 degree sectorial, which is the age of 46 to 60 degree. And we have 20 degree what sectorial. 0 to what? 60 degree. 0 to 16 years of age. Now, look at this thing. From 0 to 16 is a dependent what? We call them dependent what? Population. Now, 61 plus, because 0 to 16 are still under what? Under the period and the are to be taken care of, they are not yet responsible for themselves. What is the one plus also government is responsible for them because they are old, they are aged people. So they also they are also dependent what population, they are also dependent what population. Why these two are what are the working what are the working population, the working class or population, the working population. So this these two words. These two sectors between 17 to what, 40 to 60 are the working world population that, that, that contribute actively for to the world, to the growth of the world economy. So, so you have to calculate the what the number of persons in different age groups. Don't forget to have what the first one is what group what age 16 to what 0 to 16 years, which has a sectorial angle of what? 220 degrees. Then we have 360 degree times the total, which is what? 245,000. So what do we have? 245,000. So we have 220 divided by 360 times what? 245,000. 245,000. We have what? We have one for what? 149. Thousand seven twenty seven twenty two. So that's a really that one. So now we have what we have. We have the what the age what seventeen to remember we need seventeen to forty five years. Now seventeen to forty five years is what seventy five degree. We have seventy five degree sectorial angle over three sixty times two forty five. Thousand. So when you have them together, when you put that together, we have 75 divided by 360, divided by 360 times 2 or okay, let's divide it first, times 245,000. We have what? 51,000, 51,041. Okay, we have 51,000, 51,000. And what? 12,042 people under 17 to what? 45. So we have what? 46 to what? 46 to 60 of age. The people that lies in this what? In this sectorial angle of what? 43 degree. Look at this. This 43 degree over what? 360 degree times 245,000. So we have 43 divided by 360. Multiplied by what? 245,000. Don't worry, you get what this man approximate to the nearest known number. So we have what? 29,264. 29,264 persons. And what? We have what? The last one here is what? The 61 plus years persons. So 61 plus, that's people that are 61 and above. So we have 22 what? Degree, all over 360 degree, times 245,000. 245,000, what do you have? 22 divided by 360 degree, 
multiplied by what? 245 what? Thousand. So we have 14,900 and what? 72 what? 972 persons. So this is the what? population of what? When you add them together, you're supposed to get what? 244,000. 245,000. So 149,72 plus. 51042 plus 29264 plus 414972. So you can see it's 245 votes. Everything must be 245,000 persons. Now, having gotten that, what is the dependency ratio of the population? The dependency ratio of population. Now, when I talk about the dependency ratio of population, is the ratio of the what? Of the dependent to the working class. The ratio of the, what? the dependent population to the ratio of what? Working class. Mean that what? The dependent, number of the dependent population, and you are going to add them together, number of the working class population, are going to what? Add them together, then you what? You divide, this, you divide the dependent population with working population. So now, dependency ratio, dependency what? Ratio now. Is the ratio of the what? Dependency ratio is dependent what? Total, the total dependent what? Population. The total what? Dependent what? Population. All over the total working what? Po what? Population. So how do you go about this one? So the first thing, what is the total dependent for the population? Now these are the what? These are the working population why these are dependent these are dependent these are also what dependent these are also what dependent they are what so that is what age what the dependent are what age what 0 to 16 and what and 61 plus so what these are what 0 what 17 to what 45 and what and 46 to 60. So now let's add them together. What are the people that are 16 or what? 0 16. So we have 149,072 plus 1, 2, plus 14,972 all over. All over. What are the working? What about the working population? 51,000. And 42 plus 29,042. So, okay, 264. So, let's ensure we have 149,722 plus 14,972. Then, 51,042 plus what? 29,000. So, now let's add this one together and what do we get? So, we have 149,722 plus 14,972. We have what? This one is 164 now. 164,794. Then we have what? 51,042 plus 29,264. So what we have, when add them together, we have 80, 80 what? 80,306. So I write what? 164,694 divided by the answer. I would have approximately what two point zero five ratio what one. So we need that they are what this is going to be what look at this is going to be what two point zero five all over what one. So we should do that what it is approximately what this is approximately what two ratio what one. So this is two ratio what one. So that's that about that. So it's to ratio one because if you are going to be a number, we have to ratio one. So now the last question is give the implication of the above population. What is the implication of this above population? Now we have what? Consider the 
the dependency ratio is what the dependent population is more than the working population. Meaning that what the what there is going to be a low standard of living. There is going to be a standard of living because the working class are not much. No standard of what living. No standard of living. No standard of living. So we are going to have no standard of living in the what population in the country. The other thing is that what the working population is very very low. So the tax will be what expensive on those people what working. Now the high tax what payment. High tax what high tax payment by working what by the working high tax payment by working what working population. To feed what the dependent ratio to maintain to maintain the dependent the dependent population also there will be low investment in the country low investment in the country because there will be low investment in the country because of the working class are very very of little. So and that's that about today what today class please go and subscribe please do a press subscribe button and the notification bell that's all about eight videos online. See you next time.